Assalamualaikum. Welcome to ECL Easy Computing Lectures. Before going to start this lecture, please like, share, and subscribe this channel for more videos. Our today topic is again from System Analysis and Design, which is Joint Application Development. This technique is known as Requirements Elicitation Technique. In the analysis phase of STLC, you already know that there are different types of requirements elicitation techniques such as interviews, surveys and questionnaires. The joint application development is one of them. In today lecture, we will talk about the chat. The system analyst job is very interesting. He play a role of a detector where there is a problem to be solved and they must look for the clues to uncover the solution. Similarly, the system analyst look over the problem and try to find out the solutions for that problem. But unfortunately, sometimes the clues are not always obvious or sometimes clues are missed so that analysts need to notice details talk with the witnesses and follow leads just as Sherlock Holmes have done in the movie there are different types of requirement elicitation techniques such as JAD, questionaries, interviews but before going to start this topic, joint application development, firstly the analyst should recognize that important side effects of the requirements definition process include the building political support for the project and establish, establishing trust and rapport between the project team and the ultimate users of the system. Every contact and interaction between the analyst and a potential business user or manager is an opportunity to generate interest and commitment to the project. Therefore, the analyst should be prepared to make good use of these opportunities as they arise during the requirements definition process. Secondly, the analyst should carefully determine who is included in the requirements definition process. The choice to include or exclude someone is significant. Involving someone in the process implies that the analyst views that the person as an important resources and values his or her opinions. So, based on these two points, all the analysts should include or exclude the person for the requirement elicitation. Now let's talk about the joint application development. Joint application development is an information gathering technique that allows the project team, users and management to work together to identify requirements for the system. IBM developed the JAD technique in the late 1970s and it is often the most useful method for collecting information from users. JAD is a structured process in which 10 to 20 users meet under the direction of a facilitator skilled in JAD techniques. The facilitator is a person who sets the meeting agenda and guides the discussion but does not join in the discussion as a participant. He or she does not provide ideas or opinions on the topics under discussion and remains neutral during the meeting. The facilitator must be an expert in both group process techniques and system analysis and design techniques. One or two scribes assist the facilitators by recording notes, making copies and so on. The JAP group meets for several hours several days or several weeks until all of the issues have been discussed and the needed information is collected. Mostly JET sessions take place in a specially prepared meeting room 
away from the participant offices so that they are not interrupted. The meeting room is usually arranged in a U shape so all the participants can see easily to each other. At the front of the room, the open part of the U, there is a whiteboard, flip chart or overhead projector for use by the facilitators who lead the discussion. This is the U shape structure of JAD meeting sessions which consists of flip chart sheets, whiteboard, screen, projectors, printer, name cards for the participating members and the computer. So in all the JAD session they use U type meeting room so that all the participants can see each other easily and share their ideas easily. There is a one problem with the JAD session while different groups are talking in a meeting because sometimes people are reluctant to challenge the opinions of others particularly their bosses. A few people often dominate the discussion and not everyone participate. Suppose that if there are 15 members in a meeting and you have a one hour meeting so every person can only talk for four minutes so it is the not very efficient way to collect the information from all of the members to overcome this problem electronic jad or e jad are used in an e jad meeting room each participant use special software on network computer to anonymously submit ideas, views and ideas generated by the group and rate and rank ideas through voting. The facilitator use the electronic tools of the EJ system to guide the group process, maintaining anonymity and enabling the group to focus on each idea's merits and note the power or rank of the person who contributes the idea. In this way, all the participants can contribute at the same time without fear of reprisal from the people with different opinions. Initial research suggests that EJET can reduce the time required to run JET session by 50 to 80 percent. Now we will see that how we can select the participant for the JET session. In JIF session, participants are selected on the basis of information they can contribute to provide a broad mix of organizational level and to, to build a political support for the new system. The need for all JIF participants to be away from their offices at the same time can be a major problem. Ideally, the participants who are, uh, who are released, who are released from regular duties to attend the JET sessions should be the very best people in that business unit. However, without strong management support, JET session can fail because those selected to attend the JET session are the people who are less likely to be the missed. The facilitator should be someone who is an expert in JET or EJET techniques and ideally someone who has experience with the business under discussion. In many cases, the JAD facilitator is a consultant external to the organization because the organization may not have a regular day-to-day -day need for JAD or EJAD expertise and it is very expensive to hire a JAD facilitator permanently for any organization. In the next lecture, we will see how we can design and conduct the JAD session. I hope that you understand this lecture. Before going to end this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.